In 11.2, we'll be working on a feature called Issue Board Milestone Lists. Um, this is a third type of lists inside the Issue Board. Uh, we have label lists, assigning list, and milestone lists. So I wanted to give a little bit more context on why we're doing milestone lists. So right now, Issue Boards are very versatile inside GitLab. Um, when we first invented Issue Boards, it was a way to do workflow, something like this, where you have a black lock of issues, and then you drag them into in-development, um, inside in review and so in GitLab we only have two stages but in other uh, organizations using agile or related methodologies you might say you know in development waiting for development in QA um, inside UAT in code review and so on and so forth um, uh, all the way to you know deploy to staging deploy to production and you have you know five six multiple stages and you drag them along the list so it's a workflow so we invented um, the issue board to solve that use case. And it's a, it's a great use case, and a lot of different tools have that. The great thing about issue boards in GitLab is that we leveraged um, labels to do these uh, stages. And the great thing with labels is that they cannot just represent stages, but they can re represent um, just a, a type of issue. And so that's why, in addition to a workflow board, an issue board can also act as a planning board. So um, as you can see in this case here, um, I have a planning board that is scoped to 11.2 um, and discussion and uh, I can have different types of lists associated with different types of issues according to label. And so because of that versatility, um, we already have two ways to use boards. And so this is very different from some other tools where, where these um, lists represent stages and that, that's all you can do and you have to predefine them. Because how we invented boards and iterated on boards, we have this a versatile way of using boards, and it's a great thing. Um, so in addition to that, of course, we have the, the scoping of the board and we have the filtering of the board. Um, but that's sort of um, not directly related to today's topic. And so as we were um, thinking about how, how we can even leverage the board in a further way, beyond these two use cases, the, the planning board, the workflow board, how about we put yet another type of list? And we did that in a previous iteration, and that's the assignee board. And so in this case, what you can do is, in addition to adding a label list, you can use an assignee list here, and you can assign um, uh, people as, as lists, as you see here. And so this is an example of the discussion backend team, and you can see that the, all these discussion backend members, and you can see the issues that have been assigned to them. So now we have a board that can be used as a, um, a project management board, a board that tells you what uh, people are working on. In a GitLab, for example, we indicate that um, you are working on something or you're responsible for an issue if you've been assigned to it. And so this is yet another usage of issue boards. So we have label lists, assign your lists, and so we thought, wh why don't we just go all the way? Uh, what other attributes of issues are there? There's, there's, uh, you know, there's labels, um, there's milestones, uh, so there's uh, assignee, and there's also milestones. So why don't, you, why don't we do milestones? And so that's exactly what this is. And so the reason why we would have milestone lists is that you can drag issues across milestones. And that is precisely a way to do planning across milestones. Um, so if you wanted to have, say, in this example here, uh, it, this mockup doesn't show it, but imagine that you have 11.0 here and then 11.1, 11.2, then you can drag issues across milestones. And that's a great way to do planning across um, different iterations. And so if you look at other tools like Jira or, or other similar tools, they have a brand new UI. They have a, a different UI just to solve that use case. And the great thing about um, boards at GitLab is that um, we, we designed it such that, or we are designing it such that uh, it's a basic platform, it's a basic tool, um, but it allows you to do many things. So, so this is a fourth way that we're allowing folks to use boards. Uh, which is allowing you to drag issues across milestones. And that's exactly the purpose of this uh, feature here. So go ahead and, and review the details, look at the, the, uh, the, the edge cases or, or the specific cases. Example, For example, what happens when you move from one type of list and the list is all specified here. But that's the background of boards. And even furthermore, what we're going to do later, as you see, um, we're counting how many issues are here. And then in the future, we're going to count how many uh, weights are here, so there's going to be a lot more things going on with the board. It's going to be pretty much the centerpiece of project management features inside GitLab. It's going to be very powerful, and uh, issue board milestone list is one um, uh, one huge step toward that goal. So if you have any questions, uh, you know, Slack me and or just 
ping me on, on this issue here and then we can continue the conversation.